Does this one still mean a little something to you, playing your former team, even if basically none of the players are there anymore, or, or a few of the players are there? Um, I don't really think about it. I know this is my first time back since I left, so. Yeah, everybody knows I used to go to USC, and yeah, it's just another game. I imagine there's bigger things in your mind, though, thinking about the significance of this game for your guys this season. How big is this week for your team, obviously coming off a, a tough stretch? Yeah, um, we're right there in the middle for the standings, and um, two big wins would mean a lot. Um, we can get back on the horse. This is a great opportunity for us to get two great wins on the road. Played both these teams before. What do you take from that first experience? Obviously, you beat USC, tough loss to UCLA, but what do you kind of take from those those games and carry over to this one? This week? Um, we have to start off fast and be consistent throughout the game. Don't get too high, don't get too low. Um, we're very aware that they're probably going to pressure us and try to take us out of some of our things, but it's important for us to stay poised and just be ready to adjust as the game goes. What have the last couple of days been like for you guys? Obviously, I'm sure the home, losing both games at home was probably really tough. What, what was kind of the key and what do you kind of lean on over this time period where you, these are big games coming up? Um, well, the main thing is making sure we're taking care of our bodies mentally and physically. Um, Got to get in the gym, work, get some shots. Um, we believe that it's coming for us. Something's going to click soon. So just staying in a positive headspace. Confident, you guys, that you're still a tournament team. That this is still a team that's going to make it to the postseason and, and has that capability. Um, we're very confident. We haven't really gotten beat by by much in the games that we've lost. It's not like we're getting blown out or anything. We're we're right there. It's not. We can compete with everybody. We just got to fix the little things and yeah. What are some of those keys? Because you guys have been in a lot of these games. Is it more about getting the stops towards the end of the game or? Is it about the execution overall? Um, it's just about making winning plays. Like the first possession, it matters for later on because maybe we want we want that layup or turnover or shot back, you know. So it's just making sure we maximize our opportunities. What do you feel like the urgency is on this team? Because obviously you guys have bigger goals that you're just not getting to right now. Where is the urgency with this team? Do you guys feel like you're in a desperation mode of getting wins? Yes, um, we're very desperate. Coach said it today that we, we're we only guaranteed about seven more games. So we've got to start winning some games so that we can get ourselves over the hump and be ready come tournament time. Having watched Sunday's film, what did you take away from that defensively? Were there things you guys can work on? Do you credit Utah just for hitting really strong offensive game? Or kind of what's the mix from take away from that game? Um, I didn't really watch film from Sunday, but just being out there is just basically we got to get stops. Um, obviously, Alyssa was my former teammate, and she was a bit hard to guard. So, And then she has four shooters around her. But it was basically getting stops and making the key shots down the stretch. How hard is it to, but as much as you play, I mean, you're playing almost the whole game, where you guys don't get a lot of steals. And like when you try to create pressure and press, well, that's just physically taxing you guys a lot. And I know I can't remember if it was the Cal game or Stanford, like you're trying to press a little bit, but you can only do it for so long because you played 38 minutes. How hard is it to, try, like you're trying to get stops, trying to get steals, create that pressure, but for a player like you, like you can only expend so much energy before yeah. you had to come out of a game. So what is the question? So just how, how hard is that physically for you to do that? Oh. Like you, you feel like, like you're getting pulled in a lot of directions. Um, I feel like we don't start kind of doing it until the end of the game. Like if we're pressuring enormously, that's kind of toward the end of the game. And so it's just like in that, in that moment, it's just whatever it takes. But doing it throughout the game, I'd probably need a couple of subs. Yeah. Have you thought at all about if you'd use a – the COVID exemption year and come back next year, you considered that or were you yeah, in that process? I mean, it's, it's there, but I haven't like made a decision or anything.